guys, it's Kyle from Mission Start, and today's app is MQuickDo or QuickDo, depending on your version. The latest version is called QuickDo, and what it allows you to do is control your iPhone using swipes. And I'll show you, it'll be a little bit more clear in a moment. So the uh, application looks like this. It's at the center of my 5-icon dock, and uh, we'll go ahead and tap on it. Now it is for sale in Cydia, um, but it's also available for free via uh, a few sources. I'll have one of them in the description, just so go over there and click on more info for that. But basically this is what you'll be greeted with, and you'll have three tabs at the bottom, quick do, settings, and about. We're going to ignore about for this, the purposes of, the, of this video, and basically cover the first two. So quick do basically allows you to use short slide left, long slide left, short slide right, long slide right, and up down, tap hold for three seconds and tap hold for two seconds. And what this means is that in the hot or the, the area that you're controlling, so for me it would be in the bottom. So when I touch on the bottom, this little red thing will come up. And whatever you do in this area, like right now I'm holding, so if I were to release, it would do whatever I have set for hold for three seconds. Also, this is called the app switcher I believe uh, I'm not too I'm not 100% on that one but what this allows you to do is basically it's like a quick dock so you have your five most used applications and then on the in the top right here are the applications running and in order to quit some of them you can just take them with your finger and clicking and dragging drag them over to the right side and then they'll quit somewhat akin to this developers other application called dock version 3 which I may be doing a video on later this week uh, but it's basically the same idea. Um, but well, let's go ahead and leave this area and uh, scroll down a little bit. So this, the, what I just showed you was for the springboard. So whatever was activated would be when you're on your original array of applications. And then within inside, inside of an app, there's a whole other set of things. So for example, you can, for the short slide left, you can go back to home, close the dialog, and so forth. I'm not going to read them for you. You can read... But right now I have power dialog set, and this is for Springboard. So we're going to go ahead and go down to in-app because we're in-app. And uh, we have for slide left, we have set close dialog. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and touch the bottom, slide left, and then this mquick do close dialog will show up. And it's simple as that. And what it can do is you can click close and close the application or click iPod and it will obviously launch the iPod. Uh, another example of this would be we're going to go ahead and go long or short slide right. Now something to note uh, for the user, the short slide left and the long slide left are pretty, pretty close to each other. So if you're not, if you're a new user, you may want to set them as the same thing. And that way it will ensure that when you're inputting swipes and so forth, you'll get the uh, response that you want. But anyway, so I have on my right slide, I have double click the home button. So what I can do is hold slide right, and it will launch uh, my double home button activation, which is multi-flow. And if I do it once more, it will launch iPod Pop, or the the, um, the tweak that allows you to, whenever you hit double, double home button, to always launch the iPod, and that way you can enable... Uh, you know, the iPod and applications was they some for some reason removed in 3.0. But, um, and that's that. And so, very, very easy to use, very straightforward interface. Um, and there's no need for constant respringing, which is a great feature. Um, but, uh, enabling quick and quick do and not will probably cause you to respring. Now, the triggers are something that's sort of like a user preference. Personally, I have a lot going on on my status bar. Uh, SP settings and snap tap and so forth or snappy and so forth so I didn't have trigger in the status bar and then the bar switch and then key pops hide I just have them all set off and then just have um, the basic bottom trigger set and then there's another section you may have noticed called color and alpha and what you can basically do when you tap that is it will give you a color so what you can do is you can change the color we're gonna make it blue this time or maybe a purple is nice. And then what Alpha will do is make it set the opacity. We're going to set it about half so it's partially see-through. But, um, you know, it's still visible. So now when I go to the bottom, you'll notice it's now purple. And that's all that is. It's just some sort of, uh, you know, visual element to it. Um, and then you have all these other things. And, yes, it's called App Switcher. I was correct. 
um, the app switcher and enable badges within it and so forth. Another thing that I didn't actually realize that I had enabled, but is actually another uh, feature of it, is when you go to your lock screen, what it does is right above your slider, it's maybe a little hard to see with my background, but right here, you have five icons, and if you launch them, like I'll click, for example, I'll click iPod, you can launch them directly from the lock screen. And it's very, very useful and very very quick and what you can do is basically control your favorite applications from the lock screen and those are not set those are just mine you can customize them by going into app switcher and dragging some of your running applications down so I'll show you an example of that um, alright so I'm in app switcher uh, I want to set the center one as a uh, screen slitter so I'm going to go ahead and click and drag holding that and I'm going to drag it over the iPod and what it'll do is it'll replace that. And so now, when I go to my uh, switcher, I can activate screen splitter from my app switcher. But um, a lot of functionality in this application, very well worth the price in Cydia, if you guys want to look that up. Um, just a very, very well, very easy to use, a very useful application. Something that when you download it, you will probably find yourself using it a lot more as you continue to get more comfortable with it. Uh, but as I said, we'll have the uh, source in the description, and um, I think that is all. Uh, but this has been Kyle from Mission Start, and if you have questions, leave them in the comments or PM me. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a happy holiday break thing.